Now I've just purchased this Bosch PLI 18 Li 18 volt lithium ion work light and I thought it would make a good video just to do a quick unboxing I thought it might be useful just to see what this light is like. Now looking at specs of this light one of the things just to keep in mind that it doesn't come with a battery or charger. Now if you've already got a Bosch cordless tool like myself um, I've already got an 18 volt Bosch lithium ion battery. Now one thing just to keep in mind that's an 18 volt power for all alliance battery standard. So even if you don't have a Bosch tool, if you've got the power for all alliance battery, it'll fit this light. Now some of the other specs on this light is they claim that it's a max lighting time of 1000 minutes. It's a two function light with a high and low setting and it's a 100 loom light. It also comes equipped with a pivoting head and it's got a hanging attachment on it as well. So we'll open this box up, have a look at the light and we'll give it a quick test. Okay, we'll make a start, we'll open this box up. So the first thing we just need to do is just open the seal. And we'll just take a look inside. Okay, so we've just got like a instruction booklet there. And looks like we've just got some warranty information just in the bottom of the box. Okay, and that's the work light there. So I'll just take it out of this plastic packaging. Now just having a first look at the light, this handle here, this seems to be rubberized plastic just on the handle. And the same material is used just on top of the lens cover here. Now just looking on top of the light, the hook that can swivel around, um, that seems to be a metal material. Seems a little bit hard to be plastic, so that's metal. This is the swiveling head of the light, so you can actually adjust it. If you have it like that, you can actually use it as a torch. And this is the trigger here, so that's the power on off button as well as the high low setting for the light. Now the light without the battery actually seems pretty lightweight, there's probably not much to this. So I'll just weigh it. And that weighs in at 296 grams. Now just looking at the other side here, I can see that it's made in China. I'll just slide a battery on and we'll take a look at the light beam itself. So that just slides on pretty easily. Just power it on. Okay, so that's the high setting, and that's its low setting. What I'll do is I'll run a little test, and we can see what it's like in the dark. Now for our lighting test, I've set up two spots that we're going to shine the work light to. So I've got one down the other end of the garage there. So you're looking at about 7.5 meters 24 feet. Now the second spot we're going to test the work light out on is we're going to stand about here and we're just going to shine the light down towards that bike workbench down there. So that's 4.9 meters or 16 feet away. Okay well, we'll just turn these lights off and we'll test this work light out. Okay so we'll just walk down towards the first test here. So this test was the one that was 4.9 meters away from me. And you can see there that this light is quite a spotlight, it's not a wide beam. So that's the high setting, I'll just switch it to the low. And that's the low setting there. Okay, we'll walk towards the workbench. So that's still on its low setting. And you can definitely see it's more of a spotlight than a wide beam. And I'll just put it onto the full setting. And that's the full setting there. 
Now the next test I'm just going to stand about here and we're just going to shine the light down towards the garage door there. So that's 7.5 meters away or 24 feet and we're currently just on the low setting. Now I'll just switch over to the high setting and that's the high setting there. Now just coming over to this car engine bay here, I just thought I'd show you the difference between working with the spotlight versus a wide beam. So this is currently the Bosch light and it's just on its low setting. Now I'll just turn it to the high setting and that's the high setting there. Okay and I'll just swap over to a wide beam work light. Here's an example of a wide beam work light and you can see it lights up more of the work area and you don't get that concentration of light like that you get with a spotlight. Well I hope that gives you a bit of an insight into the Bosch work light. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.